Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another in the Missing Deck Easy Brisk series. This one is called Roaming Around, and it has standard rules. So one nine have to appear in every row, column, and box. Then some X's and V's separating cells that must sum to ten or five, respectively, depending on the Roman numeral. Not all possibles are given. That means it's entirely possible for two cells that aren't separated by an X here. So those two could sum to either 5 or 10. And what that means, forgive me trying to coax my dog out of the corner there. I think since these, there's only two ways you can get five, one, four, or two, three, but neither of those can be two or three. Because there's a three here and they can't be consecutive. So every one of these V's has to be a one, four, I think. One there gives me a four here. Now, this X can't be a 1 or a 3 or a 6, and this is only 2, 8. That's the only combination left to make 10. The 1 here tells me the order of that 1, 4. This X now can't contain a 3, and therefore can't be 7. It can't contain a 4, therefore it doesn't include 6. So that has to be 2 or 8. It's 1, that's 9, if those is 4, that's 6. So those are 6 or 9. This x now can't be 4, 6, or 1, 9. This is 2, 8, or 3, 7. If it's 3, 7, then there's only one way around it goes. If it's 2, 8, I think either could be 2 or 8. These cells are 7, 9. And therefore that's a 6. These are 5 and 7, and the 5 in row 1 tells me the order. The 6 tells me that has to be a 9, therefore this is a 1, that's a 4, that's a 6. Hmm. Okay, these cells cannot be 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Uh, they are from 3, 5, and 9. Well, these are 3, 5, and 9, and 9 has to go there. Those are 3 and 5. So this can't be 3, and therefore that can't be 7. Placing that, placing that cell as a 7. This can't be 1, 9, or 4, 6. Because the 9 here and the 1 here, and the 4 here makes none of those 6. This can't be 2, 8 because of this, so that one is a 3, 7. And I have pointing 7s and 3s in columns 7 and 8 that tell me the order. This is 2, 8 along with 5. So is that. No. 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9. This is from 2, 6, or 8, of which 6 must go in one of those two. That is now here. So 
Oh, the right columns had a triple on it. Let's see. These three in row one form a triple, two of which have to sum to 10. 16, 29, 29. Okay, these sum to 16. Those two sum to 10. That's a 6. This can't be 1, 9, 3, 7, or 4, 6. Those are 2 and 8. These can't be 1, 4, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, or 8. Those are 3, 7, and 9. And a triple. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Three, seven, nine, there doesn't do anything. Let's see. This can't be 1, 9, 2, 8, or 3, 7. That must be 4, 6, and now forms a pair. This one can't be 3, 7, or 4, 6. So those are from 1, 2, 8, 9. This one can't be 2, 8, but I think any of the other options are still possible. Well, that can't be 3, so this isn't 7. Three, three, four, six, seven, nine. Those are from one, five, and eight. Let's see what else do we know? These cannot be. Well, this cell can neither be three nor seven, so that's definitely out. And this can't be a four or six either. So this is one nine or two eight. And this can't be one or two, so this isn't eight or nine. It's complement. Let's see. This one can't be one nine. But two eight is out there. Three seven is out there but only one way round and four six. Now this can't be six so that's not four. Oh two eight column three means that's not eight and therefore must be one. This is either three, seven, or four, six. Oh, if this is one, then neither of those can be nine. Let's see, these can't be one, two, five, or eight. Three, four, six, seven, nine. Well, that can't be four, six, seven. That can't be nine. This cell can't be two, three, six, or eight. Anything else is possible, that one. Let's see, this can't be four, six, seven. What does that help me with? Not much. Nine's here. This can't be nine because of that placed. And we've determined that none of those can be nine because this is a one. So nine here rules this out for being a nine, therefore it must be eight. Eight goes with a two to make ten. So none of those are two or eight. Five is forced to be here in row six, which means that's not five.
know enough about I do not know enough about these cells to do anything with yet. All I know no, those are three, four, six. Those aren't five. And one of those two. Does that help me with anything? Not that I can see easily. I want to place something in box five. But I still don't have enough information. So other than one or two, and these can't be three, so. Let's see, we know none of these are three. Neither of those are four or eight. Neither of these are six, and that's not three. Let's see here. These cells can't be two or eight. It could be four or six. Or any of the odd digits. Other than nine. No, oh, these aren't six. These aren't three. Those two aren't one. These two aren't four. And that's not one. Those cells, which unfortunately could be just about anything. But this is where the orthogonally rule is going to show up. This being a 3 means this can't be 2. This is 7, so that's not 6. These cells could be just about anything, but I don't have anything else in columns four or five, or really even box five, to point at me. Okay, this is a three here. Let's see, what else can I eliminate from orthogonals? This is six, so that can't be seven. So these aren't seven. And those aren't seven. These aren't nine. Oh, four, five, seven, eight, that's a quadruple in column two, which places the one. Let's see. Hmm. 
I can't even definitively say that that's not five. But there's a two eight now here in column eight, therefore that must be six. This is six, that's not five, and therefore that must be. I'll leave column seven and eight with two eight pairs in it. Six doesn't go down three. Okay, neither of those are two. Doesn't help. Those two aren't six. This is not six, and this can't be four. Hmm. So I'm left with four, six, or three, seven, only one way round. <clears throat> um, let me mess up. Let's see, these can't be three, and these can't be three. So three is still in one of two spots. Not that that does me much good. But the two here tells me that can't be three, so this is nine. Therefore, these aren't nine. Four, three, five. That's a triple, I think. Yeah, there's the, there's the dog. This is not three. <laughs> Two means that can't be three. And this can't be eight, must be two. I gotta sort out a lot of my two eights, I think. I'll roll two pairs of them. This being three, that could never have been two. Those aren't two, these aren't eight. Those are that. Let's see. I don't know enough about this, do I? Who's not next to him? Eight's not next to him. Six probably oh, yeah, back there. These are nine and therefore must be three seven. Nothing useful. It's not next to him. There's just two. There's that one. Five says that one can't be four. It must be one. This is two or eight, so that's not six. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. These are four, six, nine. Mm. 
and that's a triple in column four. Actually, I don't think I can do anything else with it. These are one. And this has to be one nine, because neither can be eight. And there's only one way to make that clue work. Means this is six, that's a three. <laughs> Three, five, seven, lovely. That would be a seven. This has to be a two. That's a five. This is that. Okay, four seven here, so it's that one the one. Very bottom right. Two makes this an eight. Uh, the four in row eight sorts out the eight. Three and seven columns four and five sort out the three and seven, which sort out the eight and two. Seven can't be next to a six, it must be a four. Six, nine, four, six, go that way round. Six, this can't be a six and can't be next to seven, it must be four. Uh, now I've got three fives and this six can't be next to a five, it must be three, otherwise we have a pattern that wouldn't resolve itself. Well, 22 minutes for one that would have gone a lot faster if I'd seen the orthogonal constraint and actually applied it. <laughs>